the scandal. You called it one of the most difficult times, or the most difficult time of your life. How so? You know, I, I obviously felt sorry for him, and um, you know, I just didn't like having my name associated with it. It's just, um, you know, that sort of activity is not something um, that, that I have anything to do with, and to be, you know, have your name associated uh, with that kind of activity it was just, um, you know, something I didn't like. What was your escape during that period? Well, there was no escape in it. It was made such public news and... I mean, how did you get away from it, though? Well, I mean, I just, get, you know, do my normal thing, go racing and I live here on a small farm and do what I have to do, so... But, you know, it's hard to escape it. It was, it was always out there. I was reading something you said on the flight here to New Zealand and um, you said every single person believed I should know or did know or had something to do with it. To what extent did you understand why people could have thought that? If the ball was in another, someone else's hand and somebody said to me, you know, Steve, this particular player has done these activities, um, would the caddy know? Given the fact of the amount of time that I spent with Tiger and how close we were, I would say if it was somebody else, it'd be very difficult not to know. And I, I agree with that. So, I mean, that's where it all stems from. And I mean, everybody's opinion, you know, not everybody, but the majority's opinion is that there's no way that Steve couldn't know. How could he not know? He spends so much time with Tiger, he stays with them quite frequently. They're best of mates, how could he not know? And that was the conception and that's where it all came from. What would you have done if you did know? Well, I mean, I'm you, a very, You're a very vocal yeah, person, I mean, right? I'm, yeah, I mean, that sort of goes without saying. I mean, I'm a very loyal sort of person. I don't agree with that sort of behavior. Um, you know, I mean, I would have been strongly um, giving my piece of advice. After all of this, how well do you believe you knew Tiger? Well, not very well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, that sort of goes without saying. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I thought I knew him well and, and I didn't. I mean, this is somebody who was the best man at your wedding, so it had to be, you know, hurtful for you on a personal level. But how did the relationship with him change post-scandal? I don't think anybody that would be in the, in the situation, you know, would say things are, you know, there's no change. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no, no question that, you know, that it was a difficult time and, um, you know, our relationship obviously um, deteriorated very quickly. No two ways about it.